I'm an hour away from my house. YOLO, it's donut time. <laughs> The first Sunday of every month, Wimberley hosts a car show. There's usually a big turnout, but this Sunday it was exceptionally big. The local feed store in town actually caught fire last week, and as a fundraiser, they invited everyone in town to come out, enjoy the car show, buy coffee, support the feed store, and all to raise money for the employees who are out of work. There were over 300 antique cars to look at. There were bands. It was a lot of fun. video you'll remember I was I gave a review of my Vans shoes and also um, mentioned that I got a new pair of running shoes Brooks glycerins well everything was going well first couple times that I wore them ran a couple miles and then they started hurting the top of my left foot feeling like somebody's stabbing a knife in so bad that I wore them just to walk the dogs we got like I don't know quarter mile down the road and I just couldn't go any further I literally had to take my shoe off and walk home with only my right shoe on. I actually bought these shoes at a brick and mortar uh, shoe store in Austin. So we're going to return them right now. Hopefully they don't give me any grief. shoes have been exchanged they they did actually give me a hard time when I went to return them and you might not know this but Blakely and I have a lot of experience with returning shoes we worked at Foot Locker not returning them personally with <laughs> others returning shoes yeah we were we met working at Foot Locker in Baybrook Mall in Houston Texas back in 1990 something or other and we know that a lot of people do try to scam the system and return shoes Here's where we are in Austin. Here's these shoes. Uh, I don't know. They were pretty comfortable in the store, so I think they're gonna be fine. Man, yeah. This looks like blowing wow. into the road. It is like 39 mile an hour wind gust today, which is just a lot. The Super Duty is blowing all over the place <laughs> on this trip. We went to like a fundraiser this morning. Um, in Wimberley, and it, it, I just feel like disoriented now because we were outside for a while and my, my yeah. ears feel like full. And... It's wild out here, guys.
Monday up in here. It's been six days since I tweaked my back. It's feeling better every day. I'm ready to put 300 on the bar and get after it. 95. We're gonna start with 95 pounds. You might think, like, why would you deadlift if you hurt your back? Doing the motion that you have the injury with is one of the best ways to come back from the injury because you have to stress the area of the injury a little bit to get it to heal. But you gotta be smart too, guys. 95 pounds, not too much. Split wood is obviously going to be easier. You're going faster. Put some good split wood. Tease up all. Easy peasy. Felt good. This is one of these. Right back, babies. I just remembered one of my dreams from last night. You were a filmmaker. <laughs> I've been having all kinds of crazy dreams lately. We were at home. It was totally dark outside. We were out on our deck. I had, a, I had a flashlight and I guess I heard something and I'm shining the flashlight around the yard and then right off the edge of the deck I shine the flashlight down on this giant wild boar that's in our yard because oh, <laughs> we saw it. And like he, at first he just stood there and then he started running around like crazy and buttons busted out of the porch and started chasing the boar or, right. and then the... <laughs> And then the boar came up onto the deck and was headed towards the porch. And somehow we got buttons back in the house and the boar ran off um, to the side, the down the side yard. And then I woke up and had to go pee. What's the healthiest thing you can eat at a gas station? We're gonna go inside this gas station, look at the options, and try to figure out truly what is the best thing you can get in a gas station. Granted, we are spoiled in that we are at a Bucky's, and I know you might not have a Bucky's where you live, but still, we'll look around and see like what is available at a normal gas station too, and kind of analyze the choices. So I think a lot of people get tripped up on road trips. They're like, I'm an hour away from my house. YOLO, it's donut time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go in and check it out. All right, what do we got here? We got protein, we got vegetables, we got eggs. This would look like a pretty good option. We got salads. <laughs> They're the same ones. All right, we got some good protein sources here, probably on the fattier side, because we got cheese, sausage. I realize not every gas station is going to have these options right here, so we'll keep looking. Vegetables, fruit, about two and a half cups of banana pudding, probably not a great option. Let's see how many calories, 530. All right, so the problem with gas stations mostly is that you are faced with all of these kinds of tempting options. It's not that they don't have good options, it's just that these not so good options are so prevalent and tempting to grab. All right, just about every gas station is going to have a section with beef jerky, but let's talk about what to look for. So what we're looking for is about a 10 to one ratio of protein to calories. So this has 10 grams of protein for only 60 calories. So that's a pretty sweet option right there. You look at the carbs and the fat, you can see they're both pretty low. So this tells you probably does not have a lot of added sugar. I bet that's not the case with all of these though. Let's check it out. All right, let's check out this uh, teriyaki. All right, so this one's got 13 grams of protein for 90 calories, so still not that bad. So lots of these jerky options are good. This one's called sweet and spicy. 12 for 80, it's got a few more grams of carbs, still low on the fat, so it's pretty good too. So of course, just about every gas station is gonna have all the bar options. Blake was picking up a couple RX bars. The general rule for a protein bar is the same as we were talking about for the jerky. You wanna take the grams of protein, multiply it times 10, see if that's greater than the total number of calories in the bar. 20 grams of protein, 280 calories. So even though sometimes we eat these bars when we're short on good options, this would probably be a, not a great source of protein for you. All kinds of tempting 
options here. We haven't even gotten into the liquid calories. Well, speaking of the liquid calories, let's see what the options are for a healthy drink that we can get. Most gas stations are going to have a section with these pre-made protein shakes in it. 40 grams of protein, 32 grams of protein, 20 grams of protein. Sometimes you gotta look for them. All right, Blakely just found this in the uh, refrigerated eggs, section. Eggs in a cup. Boiled eggs. And Don't slip up and accidentally grab the hot dogs <laughs> and eat those too. Check this out. Pre-cut deli meat. Biscuits? Holy smokes. We got a little Lunchables down here. More jerky options. Just watch for the added sugar and the high fat. Grabbing stuff like seeds and nuts, probably not a great idea just because they are so easy to overdo and they are high in calories since they are so high in fat. Chips, probably not a great option. I can pretty much say anything that comes in a bag and is brown colored, probably not a great option. Hidden amongst everything, there's usually some fresh fruit at most gas stations too. Again, most gas stations will have some sort of vegetable, fresh fruit available, just have to look for it. Protein sources, like he's gonna get a, she's, look, we came here, she's, look, she's all loaded up on, she bought two cups, a banana, two protein bars. Do I need, do I need more coffee? different feeling about that when I than when I went into it because I was thinking I would just find tons of healthy options in there but I think the main takeaway I have actually is it is really really hard to make good choices in gas stations for food because there are so many terrible options available and if you're going to, into a gas station likely you're pretty hungry because you didn't prepare you're out and about and you don't have anything to eat and you're faced with all these super tempting delicious foods and you're like well you know I'm I'm out of my normal routine. Might as well grab a bag of these. Yeah. While I have the chance, or like. I don't have any like, beaver nuggets at home. I might as well get them while I'm out here. So it's not really that there aren't healthy choices available, it's that there are way less healthy choices available and it's so easy to choose yeah. the other stuff. As far as what healthy choices are actually there, I think it always is gonna come down to there being some kind of beef jerky option that you can get, some sort of protein shake option that you can get, fruit. some it's kind of fresh fruit. fruit sometimes there's like a fresh meat or cheese option that you can get well i think hard boiled eggs are a common thing now like they have the yeah. little two pack i mean the only one doesn't like to eat hard yeah boiled i mean eggs. it's not the easiest thing to just like while you're driving eat a hard boiled egg but I'm just not saying. even just like the yeah they're a little they just, chalky i don't yeah i just i don't really like eating just boiled eggs maybe if you make it into a deviled egg i did not see a crustables <laughs> no uncrustables in there I think everybody watching this knows there are healthy choices out there. It's about like deciding what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> like what do I really want here? And then just making the choice that kind of like aligns with what your goal is. And there's a state park right there, oh. Palmetto State Park. This is Gonzalez. Huh. All right, so well, that's kind of the summary. I don't know if you ever said what we're doing, but we're driving halfway between Houston and our house to pick up my mom, like where she's gonna drive back with us and stay with us. But you know, to prepare for this, like we brought each our a cup of water, we brought extra waters. I brought a cup that I can, and I brought protein powder. So if I get really hungry, I can put water in a protein. We were out of like bananas and stuff at the house. So I knew like I wanted to get a banana. We knew that we were, were gonna be gone for most of the day today. And we brought several snacks with us to maintain throughout the trip. And if we wanted to, and we didn't bring snacks right. with us, we still could make a healthy choice in the gas station if we wanted to. Right.
maybe if you want to explore, we'll find a coffee shop. Anywhere. <laughs> so we had that lunch at that restaurant. It was extremely tasty. It was probably twice as much food as we would normally have for lunch. You know, just like food volume. Probably not twice as many calories. But anyway, I am struggling right now. I got no energy. I just yawned. All right, it's Friday. We're about a week and a half post back tweak. I'm gonna test out some back squats. Nothing too crazy. See how it feels, let's go. All right, that wraps up this video. Nice little two mile run to end the week. Hope you had a good week. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel before you leave. If you don't listen to our podcast, you can check it out on YouTube or on Apple or Spotify. Have a good day, guys.